This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners making over six figures share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Well, my name is Diamond Well, and I am first and foremost a father of two beautiful teen daughters. Uh, I like to call myself Super Dad. It has been validated by them, uh, so I had, I had to make up the title. Uh, and also, I've been dating my wife for, for almost 20 years now. We're in our 20th year together, and uh, th those are the two most important titles. But if, if we talk about outside of family and, and my, my social communities, uh, I'm a change facilitator. I, I really help people facilitate big tr change that creates massive transformations, whether in their businesses, most often also in their lives, because the two are so intertwined. Uh, and then also in other areas of life, depending on where you're feeling unsatisfied. And uh, that's what I do. So tell us, what is the best thing about being in business? Well, your, your initial uh, opening there, uh, you know, you talk about creatives, right? Mm. Uh, being an entrepreneur, be, being in business for yourself, I, I think is one of, next to having children, is one of the greatest feats of creativity. You know, like we're creating unique solutions based on a need that we've seen. It's amazing, right? To, to see an idea or, or where we can channel our energies to make a great impact for a community or an organization. In some cases, a country, a world, you know, like these ideas do spread and, and have great impact. And I think if you are someone that's creative, it's a wonderful way to align those passions and purposes in one direction. I love that. It's interesting because I never thought of myself as creative. I mm -hmm. spent 10 years working as an accountant and here I am creating a business and yeah. even maybe the first year I was like, I'm not creative. I'm an accountant. And then my business coach came in and he was like, listen, you're like no accountant I've ever met before. You have personality. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. And also you're creating a business. Like it's, it's wonderful. Like it's so cool. Something from nothing, right? It's, exactly. It's so I hear from cre other creative business owners that they avoid money issues like the plague. Tell me mm -hmm. your thoughts. Well, I think, uh, you know, to, to steal something from Joe Dispenza, you know, he has a, a saying that is, you know, where your attention goes, your energy flows. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, yeah, there's a lot of avoidance around money based on unknowns and, and also just based on the way we, we look at money, right? I mean, it really is just an energy exchange. It's energy. We've, we've put time, we've put uh, uh, a lot of physical, mental, emotional, spiritual resources channeled into something to, to create that energy. Sometimes our relationships serve it all. So yeah, do they avoid it? Yeah. And especially when it comes to just reinvesting in oneself. I, I, I see people spend on external things all the time, but it's like, that's a spend. It's not an investment, right? Sometimes yeah. it can be. But more often than not, it's, it, it isn't. And, and so looking at them to reinvest in themselves, I think that's a, sometimes a big leap, but it's a big leap worth taking, uh, especially because then you start to see this nice compounding effect of not a, only the gain of knowledge, but also the wisdom that you gain through that reinvestment in oneself and in one's business. But it, people that are just scaling, you know, it can be a fast ride, but it can also be a very intimidating ride. So uh, I, I love hearing that you are, are someone that embraces coaching. I'm the same way. I've had a number of coaches and working with a couple right now. And uh, based on areas in my life that I've recognized, I need help. <laughs> you yeah. know? And uh, yeah, and money, I think, is one of those areas that a lot of people need help with. Absolutely. So yeah. what other successful, creative, six-figure business owners like yourself should be um, on my podcast. Oh man, well, there's a boatload of them here in Bali. Uh, <laughs> like legitimately, uh, I just a few off the top of my head. Rory Callahan, a great Australian dude uh, that I I've really become quite good friends with him. Actually, we're both keynoting at an event this weekend. Just an amazing awesome. guy, and uh, he's got a, a company called Fill Your Cup. So it's all about this idea of filling your own cup to the point that it's overflowing, so then you can serve others mm. from it. And uh, really, really neat background, great story. Trent Bray of Hustle Energy. He's a really cool guy that's been in real estate and, and well, just basically been a self-made entrepreneur since the age of 14. Has wow. Had lots of successful businesses already. And uh, he's now also a successful dad with three kids. Three kids. You know, I've got two. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> hats, hats off to anybody that's yeah. got more than that because I know it's like, I'm um, also Ollie Knowles. 
uh, mm -hmm. a wonderful guy. I've become good friends with here in Bali. He's uh, one of the partners in Digital Nomad X, uh, a global organization for digital nomads and an amazing, amazing man and uh, knows Facebook like no other, and, yeah. uh, especially from an organic traffic standpoint. And then one last one, uh, uh, Sasha Wynn. Uh, he was a dentist and then he got into Bit currency and wow. uh, Bitcoin. Yeah. And uh, moved here to Bali and now is creating the big forum community, which is a community that brings entrepreneurs together, but globally, but especially he's starting here in Bali and now he's starting to branch out to other countries and cities to, to create this network. And it's just been amazing, amazing to be someone that's been alongside him watching him do this. So those are four people for sure uh, that I would recommend getting on your Awesome. That's a great list. Thank you so much. What is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creative business owners should know? Oh man, that is like just one, just one. Huh? <laughs> well, I guess, and this is funny because I used to fight this a lot until I did a Vipassana, which is a 10 day silent retreat. Basically you meditate, you sit on a pillow every day, day in, day out for 10 days. And there's no talking, reading, writing. Anyways, it's like, the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's also been one of the best things I've ever done. Mm. And it, it, they really hammer home this idea that, which is, you know, it is knowledge. I wouldn't necessarily say it's common knowledge, but I think everybody would agree to it. It's just that nothing stays the same. Yeah. You know, everything is in constant state of change. It's always changing. We like things like when we're feeling happy, when we're feeling like, oh man, our business is there. It's there. I want it to stay this way forever. And we get attached to that. And what happens yeah. is it does change. And when it changes, there's a lot of other emotions that come up. And those other emotions take a lot of our attention. Uh, so obviously our energy goes there. And, and all of a sudden we're, we're in this mix of losing those emotions that we attach to that state, mm. which unfortunately wasn't going to last. And so it's just realizing that, that life is very dynamic and so are our businesses. And they will be in a constant state of change. And it's just be okay with that. You know, today is a new day and it always will be, but don't let yesterday, uh, you know, dictate your quality of life today and, and don't let today shape the future. That's, uh, well, it's unknown. Right. Yeah. And, uh, it, it sounds really, uh, you know, I would have laughed 10 years ago if we had caught myself saying that, I would like, <laughs> whatever, you know, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but, but today just being, because uh, you mentioned wisdom, you know, knowledge and wisdom are very different. We Absolutely. have an inordinate amount of knowledge available to us today. You know, mm. just look up podcasts on certain topics. There's lots of knowledge, but wisdom is taking the knowledge and, and actually applying it to our lives uh, to create a certain result specifically. Mm. And uh, that's different because it does require us to take action ourselves and to learn from that. And, and that can be intimidating at times. Super powerful. Now, the most important question of the podcast, Kakaya Basha Yubima Muzika, or in English, what is your favorite music? So I'm really weird because I, I listen to everything, like mm. legitimately everything. And I, I just I always grew up in a musical household. My parents always had, you know, well, I'll date myself, records. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, and then cassettes and then, you know, CDs and, you know, all the way through. And so I, I listen to a lot of things. But lately I've been sort of on a social distortion Mike Ness kick. And nice. so I've been listening to a lot of that. Reverend Horton, he just kicking it old school, you know, that the stuff I was really into about 20 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, and it's funny how things just come back. I, I heard just a, a tune the other day and I just triggered a memory from 20 years ago. And then he was like, oh, you know what? Spotify, I'm going to look up Mike Ness. And, yeah. And so I've just been, the last couple of days, that's all I've been listening to, you know, and, and that happens. I go through these like moments where I'm just remember something or I get turned on something. And, yeah. Uh, then you know i'll dive in for like a few days and uh, just do it so yeah yeah right now that is it awesome so thank you guy for being on what's your website so people can find you well it's the cool thing about having a unique name uh pretty easy to find and google likes it uh die men well uh, so d-a-i M-A-N-U-E-L dot com. And uh, I, the nice thing with the unique name out on all the social platforms I'm active on, uh, I have the same handle. It's just awesome. So uh, yeah, easiest way to find me. I'm very active on social. So uh, don't be a stranger. Find yourself in Bali. Hey, let me know. Coconuts on me. Awesome. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of creative wisdom, where creative business owners making over six figures share their wisdom in nine minutes. Make sure to check out my blog at ragstorichesconsulting.com to get money insights you haven't heard before.